Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm one half of the caper couple. For those of you who are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, leave us a like. And today guys, I'm back with another unboxing. Brand new drone out. Beautiful day today. Not too windy, maybe eight mile an hour winds. So nice day to try this. What we have here guys is the new SJRC F11 4K Pro. Brushless motor drone with a two axis gimbal, a 4K camera. It's a budget drone guys, it comes in just under $300. And it has a few options, but I'm not sure they work very great. Now it has surround, so it'll, you can set it to surround you, fly around. It has follow me, two different types. Um, GPS follow, so it'll track your phone guys and it has waypoints so what we have in the case I already opened this charge the battery guys so you're not getting the actual unboxing because it comes in like a brown sleeve box so we have a full extra set of props which is great because not a lot of uh, companies give you that most just give you two spare we have a micro USB cable, charge the battery up. We have an instruction manual, guys. And we have extra hardware to put your props on and a hex key to do so. So we'll close that up. So on the other side of the case, we have a nice foam cover. And the thing I didn't tell you guys is it's a great little hard shell case. So inside we have our battery, 11.1 volt, 2500 milliamp, which is supposedly gives you a 26 minute flight time. Battery has the uh, button so you can check how much, how much charge is in the battery guys. And I'm not sure if you can see that with the sun shining. So move on to our remote control, our transmitter. A little tight in the case it's a little hard to get out now and then so our phone holders in the top guys but the arms on the bottom open up and you would think the phone goes in there but it doesn't it goes in the top so we have a backlit screen everything that you set on this transmitter will light up it's not an L, uh, it's not an LCD or anything guys it's just you know, it's like a printed printed material and it will glow as things are showing up on it. So just give me a second here. I've just got to put the case down. And we have our drone. So foldable props, guys. Brushless motors, like I've said earlier. Opens like so. The front arms first, then your back. So we'll scan around the drone, nothing in the back, just the name, nothing on the left side. The front we have our two axis gimbal, remove the cover, just be a little careful that's all, I don't want to mess the drone up. So there you go, there's your 4K camera, it's a true 4K camera, two axes, we have one this way and you're up and down you can move the camera on your controller guys up and down i think it's 90 degrees what else electronically stabilized so you're not only getting the two axis gimbal you're getting an electronically stabilized picture spin it around to the side we have an sd card holder here so you can record so that being said guys i'll set it up here calibrate the drone and we'll have a little flight catch you back in a minute Peace. okay guys i'm back we're set up ready to go i had a little bit of trouble calibrating the compass not sure why it just does that now and then so we'll start recording and we'll take off sticks down and in start your motors and up we go So 
there you go guys um, GPS mode is on Quite sure what's going on here. The drone is like has a mind of its own. Let's get the speed setting up here. So the speeds on this drone, guys, are very, very slow. So it's my only pet peeve with this drone so far is the speed settings they can't be right because you put this on camera mode and it crawls you stick it in normal mode it doesn't go much faster you see the barometer is going crazy a little windy and the barometer is going a little crazy on me but yeah, like I was saying, you put this in uh, normal mode, and it doesn't go much faster than camera mode. You stick the thing in sport mode, guys, and it's like tripod mode on your Mavic Air 2. It, it brings the sport mode is just like a normal flight. So I'll stick it in sport mode now. That's normal. This is sport mode. Watch this. Not very fast, is it? I mean, it's fast, but it's not what it should be. I'm having trouble avoiding this wind. I am not bringing this drone up high today, guys. Look, it just hit the ground. land and go grab this drone because there's something obviously wrong i'm gonna have to contact banggood about this one. hey guys so this is actually day two i figured after a couple of days of flying this i'd give it another little insight so after some more testing i've flown it for maybe three four days now like i say the first day of flight it was absolute garbage, but it seems to have been changing my mind a little bit. Now, most of the features still don't work, but the drone actually does fly pretty well. And I'm going to show you guys that again in this video. So out of all the features, the only one I didn't know how to operate was the surround, the circle me. But I've learned how to do that now, and I'm going to test that one out today. So I'm going to set things up here, guys, and I'll catch you right back. Peace. Okay, guys, I'm all set up. Drone is all calibrated. I'm guessing why this drone didn't work right the first initial flight was I calibrated the drone very close to the ground. There's a lot of magnetic interference in the, in the ground, guys. So the second time I tested this, I calibrated it up in the air and spun it around and you know what you have to do to calibrate them and i've done that same thing today up high so everything seems okay we'll start the engines here we'll take off give it a little spin around guys and you can see that barometer bounces around so now i'll start recording I'm gonna have to get it over in the field more to test that circle me. I don't want to hit anything guys. I don't know if you guys can still see that drone because of my camera angle. I don't know just you guys here.
circle me feature works you guys if you guys can see that it's slowly making a circle see that guys so that's one feature I actually have working in this drone now like I said the other day the follow me both both follow me options do not work on this and I'll try them again today and I'll show you guys but there you go the circle me is actually working so my mind is it's hard guys it's hard to tell you guys to buy this drone knowing what I'm seeing going on with this drone so okay exit this around I know that that works Bring this drone over. Bring the camera down. Tell you guys, I don't like how the camera moves up and down. It's very, very slow. Well, actually, I can't say it's slow. It moves too fast. Too fast of increments. Okay, so not too easy. Follow me feature. I'm gonna have to take my mic off here, guys, and set it here somehow. I've got the little lapel mic today, so just one second here. Image follow, guys. So we'll draw a box around me. Okay, now we have the image follow set. Let's see if it follows. It's actually working now. The image follow is actually working now, guys. I don't know what's going on with this drone, but I'm going to have to change my mind on it and say, yes, it's actually worth buying. I, I don't know what was going on that first review the other day, but... This is absolutely crazy. Watch this. Okay guys, I, I got out of the view. It lost me, but it did follow me at, at the start. So now we'll try the GPS follow. And it's still saying the same thing it was doing the other day. GPS tracking distance shall not exceed 100 meters. Let's bring this drone down a little bit closer. Same thing, guys. Same thing. It does not want to follow me off the GPS. Tried it again, it still doesn't want to do it. Now, the roots do work. I tested those last night, and I'll show you guys those right now. I'll get this drone up in the air a bit. Back it up. A little bit of height, guys. And I'm in sport mode, so it's not as fast as this drone should be for being in sport mode. Click on the roots. I'll make them really close because... Okay guys, if you guys can see that, you see my roots? I'm going to hit start, hit go, slide the bar across. It's receiving its data and it's starting its route. Now guys, there's the drone going pulling its route but it seems that these routes are very far away gotta get that drone up some more and it's hit its first route it's coming back to the second now hopefully it's recording it's showing that it's recording guys you guys will get to see what it's actually seeing. Yeah, 
And it's just about hit its second it's there now. It's turning to go to the third. I've got five marked here, guys. And it should be hitting its third any second. There we go. And it's turning, going to the fourth. See, this I actually like. The routes actually work. The only thing I can't get to work is that friggin' follow me. The GPS follow me. Like I say the other day, guys, none of them worked. No follow me's worked at all. Today, I'm, I guess I'm fluking out and image follow seems to work. So, I, I, like I say, I really have to change my mind on this drone. I'm going to say yes, buy it. It's hit its last route and it's stopping. It stops right where it ends, guys. It doesn't come back. So you have to bring it back yourself. Actually, we'll do the return to home. And the remote actually talks to you guys. It's pretty cool. Nice feature. Well, it's coming back. It's climbing to 60 meters. I believe that's what I have it set as. It's actually fighting that little bit of wind today. That's another thing. The other day, it would not fight a little gust of wind. It was maybe 12 mile an hour winds, guys, and it wouldn't fight it. I had to land that drone over the end of the field. Oh, I'm coming down. It's coming down, 38, 37 meters. I'll tell you one thing guys, it's not very far off where it took off. Maybe a meter or two. There you have it guys. That's actually pretty close to where I took off so like I say, I, I have to change my mind on this. Everything seems to be working okay now, except for the except for the GPS follow me. Now, the other day, not a thing wanted to work for me. I, I was so mad leaving this field with this drone. I even contacted Banggood and sent them the video and explained everything that was going on. I mean, even the speed modes, the first two speed modes were the identical. It was like both camera mode and normal mode were the same speed then you put it in in uh, sport mode and it was like normal mode like the drone just crawled the other things were going on guys was I push up on the right stick to move the drone forward it wouldn't take that command half the time but today and the last couple of flights like I say everything seems to be working normal now I do change my mind I say this budget drone is worth the just under $300 I paid for it so if you're looking for a half decent drone you're on a budget there's your drone that being said guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel leave a comment down below make sure your notifications are on smash that like button guys and until the next one we'll catch you later Peace.